Hello, hello, it's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. It is Thursday, January 21st, 2021, and big news today! I'm so excited. Today, I earned the 2022 Stampin' Up! Incentive Trip. I'm going to the Eastern Caribbean, fingers crossed, <laughs> on a cruise next May 2022. This is a record time for me to earn it. Our Stampin' Up! year just started on October 1st, so it's only been three and a half months, and I've already earned the trip, and I'm so excited! Yay! <laughs> so thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to all of my customers and my team members for helping me accomplish this amazing thing so early in the stamping year. I'm just so excited. And I'm also having my best month ever. My best month ever. And the month is not even over yet. So it is a very exciting day. I'm so glad you guys are all joining me today. Hi, 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 everybody. So I've got three projects to share with you today for Thursday Night Stamp Therapy. I'm super excited. We're going to be stamping with some brand new products from the mini catalog. Um, and... I want some celebration stuff too. So one of the things I wanted to talk to you about today was um, if you've ever thought about joining as a demonstrator, I would love to have you join my team of Jubilant Stampers. There's over 120 of us all across the United States. Whether you're near or far, we stay connected on Facebook and through email and we have swaps and we do all kinds of fun stuff. So <laughs> I would love to have you join our team. If you've been thinking about joining as a demonstrator and if you do it during celebration, you get five packages of designer paper for free. Five! All the color families. These are brand new designer paper packs that are coming out in the new catalog. So they'll be available when the annual catalog is released, but new demonstrators who join during celebration get to have all of these for free right now. This one kind of looks like ice cream cones. Oh, with the new ice cream punch. Oh my gosh. Look at how brilliant. Check that out. Doesn't that look like an ice cream cone? Yes, it does. Oh, I need something to punch for ice cream. Let me grab a scrap. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Oh my gosh, I don't, I don't have it here. Here's the mint. I'll do a mint. A mint ice cream cone. I wasn't even planning to do this, but I just thought of it and I while I was going through that. <gasps> look, look, look! It's mint ice cream or pistachio. Do you like pistachio ice cream? I had a pistachio cookie today. It was really good. Um, anyway, <laughs> I'm getting sidetracked. So designer paper packs, um, you get all five for free when you join as a demonstrator right now. So let me give you that link. If you've been thinking about it, I've got lots of information um, on my blog for you to check out. And if you're ready to join, you can do that at tinyurl.com slash su starter kit. And so what you get to choose is $125 in product of your choice for only $99 plus tax. You get a free paper pumpkin kit just kind of a random one, whatever they have extra of. You get instant access to the demonstrator website where you can place orders. <laughs> this is old. Where you can place orders on um, the demonstrator website with a 20% discount. So you got a 20% discount on all your stuff. Plus you get the five paper packs. It's pretty, pretty awesome deal. So if you've been thinking about it, check it out. Ask me some questions. If you guys have questions, um, you know what? I'm going to do a special little drawing. Uh, um, I would love to answer your questions tonight while I'm live. So if you have a question about joining as a demonstrator or about being a demonstrator, leave a comment with a question and I will answer it. And everyone who asks a question about being a demonstrator, I will put your name in a drawing and draw for a fun prize. I don't know what. <laughs> I'll figure it out. But uh, leave, leave me a comment with a question. And if you're watching on YouTube, leave me a comment with a question. I will do a separate drawing for YouTube comments with questions. And I will draw for a prize. So please, please, please give me all your questions. Let's answer them. Let's get your questions answered. And um, 
I will only put your name in the drawing once. So if you ask me like 10 questions, that's awesome. But I'll only put your name in the drawing once. So um, bring bring on the questions. One of the awesome perks of being a demonstrator is that you get early access to new products. So one of the things I wanted to show you tonight is this cute Hey Birthday Chick stamp set. Now you may have seen this in the mini catalog because it's in here. It is, I've got it marked right here. It is on page 52. But but here is a fun thing that's coming out that you may not know about is starting in February, you'll be able to get coordinating dies with the Hey Birthday Chick stamp set. And do these chicks look familiar? These chicks um, are inspired by the original Hey Chick stamp set. Does that look familiar? This is from Celebration 2017, and it was so popular that Stampin' Up! made a sequel in Hey Birthday Chick. So these are the same stamps, uh, not the same stamps, the same chicks, and they're just in different poses. So these stamp sets are going to go really great together. Do you guys still have the Hey Chick stamp set? I don't have mine anymore, and I'm kind of sad that I don't. There is some new coordinating dies, as well as the dies for the birthday chick stamp set. So in February through June 30th, you're going to be able to get the old Hey Chick stamp set with the coordinating dies um, and the dies that go with the birthday chick. So you can get them in a bundle. You can get them separately. If you're a demonstrator, you can get them right now. This is the awesome thing about being a demonstrator is you get um, you get a, a pre-order perk. So whenever we have something new that's coming out, demonstrators always get first pick. So not only do you get to pre-order, but if you want to sign up right now during um, January, there's a link again. If you sign up right now, you can choose the Hey Chick stamp set, dies, bundle. You can choose those in your starter kit. So that's an awesome perk too. If you're a demonstrator, you get to pre-order. If you're a new demonstrator, you can pre-order in your starter kit. Oh my gosh, it's so much fun. I see some questions coming through. Yay! <laughs> I see several of you still have your original chicks. Yes, I really wish I did. I'm so sad that I don't. Um... Oh no, Carla said she couldn't find hers though. I know mine is long gone. I don't hang on to things for very long. Um, so it's so exciting. If you do have the old one, you can just get um, the dies and then you'll be all set. Okay, here's some questions. Nancy says, can I be my own hostess? So the answer is yes. As a demonstrator, you earn host rewards on your order that's over 150 or more. So um, yes, you can be your own host without having to have a party or you can have a party and be your own host and get all the host rewards from collecting orders from all your friends. So yes and yes. <laughs> um, you also, all of your own personal sales count towards your quota. So that's a really exciting thing as well. So a lot of people on my team are just discount buyers. They just buy from themselves. They don't have a lot of customers and they just like to shop at a discount and they meet their quotas that way. So that is super exciting. Let me scroll back up because I saw another question. I thought, oh, here we go. Joe says, how much in annual sales do you need to be a demonstrator? So um, to stay active as a demonstrator and continue you enjoying the perk of 20% off all your orders, you need to keep doing 20, or not 20%, that's what you get. You get 20% off your orders. <laughs> Every quarter in order to stay active, you need $300 in sales, that's a retail amount. So that is before your discount. So if you're only buying for yourself, then that's $300 minus 20%. So that's really exciting. That works out to be about a hundred dollars a month. And I have so many customers, so many of you buy from me and you already spend enough to meet that yourself. <laughs> so, so many of you could sign up right now and stay active and get a discount on all your purchases. So, um, sometimes I, I ask, especially some of my my high spenders, I always say, are you sure you don't want a discount? <laughs> because you really wouldn't have to do any work. You're already ordering more than enough to continue getting that discount and be part of my awesome team. Okay. Eve says, do people really get rid of discontinuous? Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, I, it's true. I do. Oh, I think I accidentally clicked on something. Now I'm stuck. Uh, uh oh, now the dog's barking. Oh, let me, oh, here we go. Um, oh, I, I accidentally tried to bring somebody on camera. <laughs> Oops. 
Nope, we don't want to do that. Um, yes, I get rid of... Okay, why is this still not scrolling? I'm stuck. Oh, no. Um, oh, here we go. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, I get rid of old stuff because um, I like to get all the current stuff. So if I get rid of my old stuff, then I can buy new stuff. And I always like to have the latest stuff. Um, okay, let's see. Jan says, what happens if you don't meet the quarterly amount? So um, that's a good question. So right now we're in the middle of a quarter. All our quarters are calendar quarters. So January, February, March is a quarter. And because we're in the middle of a quarter right now, if you signed up in January, you don't have to do 300 by the end of this quarter, which is the end of March. They give you extra time to meet your first quarter. Um, quota. So um, $300 you would have to do by the end of June. And unless they've changed it recently, everything that you order between now and your first full quarter counts towards that first full quarter. So what happens if you don't meet your quota? Then you go into pending status and you have one month to make up the difference um, and make up any sales that you are short. And if you don't um, if you don't do that, then you get dropped. Uh, but they don't take away your birthday. <laughs> you get to keep all of your starter kit. Um, so there, there is no, there's no penalty. Um, you just stop getting a discount and you stop getting access to the demonstrator website and all the cool perks of being a demonstrator. Um, I was just looking to see if there were any other questions. I think, oh, did I catch them all? Um, oh my gosh, Tony, you have every one of your stamp sets that you must have a huge collection. So honestly, if you looked at my stamp collection, you would probably be surprised at how small it is because I continuously get rid of stuff. I don't have a lot actively on my shelf. Lori says, do I need, do I just rejoin as a new demonstrator? Yes. So after you've dropped as a demonstrator, you can rejoin, um, as a new demonstrator and buy a starter kit, which is $99 plus tax. And you get to choose $125 in product. So, um, to my knowledge, there is no limit to the number of times that you can join as a demonstrator. I have some people on my team that have joined, oh my gosh, four times, <laughs> five times. Oh, sometimes people have been a demonstrator a long time ago and they rejoin. Sometimes they just take a little break and they come back. Um, when being a demonstrator, how do you qualify for the vacation? That's a good question, Megan. So I just told you guys that I earned um, this awesome trip to the Eastern Caribbean. And in order to earn the big trip, you need to have a combination of personal sales and team um, title advancements. So helping your team to um, earn title advancements and, and, um, and work their own business. You can do it on sales alone. Um, and so if you just did it on sales, you would need to sell $40,000 um, a year in product. So I earned my trip on mostly sales, but also I have had some title promotions and um, qualified recruits, which earned me points to earn the trip. <laughs> Eve says she's gotten a lot of my awesome stuff that I didn't hang on to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh, sharing 300 stamp sets. Okay, um, <laughs> yeah. it sounds like Lori is thinking about rejoining Marsha. That's super exciting. Okay, so let's get back to the hey chick. Keep your questions coming. If you have some, I'm more than happy to answer. So please, please, please keep them coming. This is on demonstrator pre-order. It will be available for everybody starting February 2nd. So if you're not interested in joining as a demonstrator, that's okay. It's not for everyone. You'll be able to get these fantastic goodies next month. And I just wanted to show you here are some cute little projects. Um, in fact, this is something that Stampin' Up! put together. It's a class plan. Oh, jeez. Shush puppies. Um... Stampin' Up! has a lot of great resources for demonstrators. So if you feel like you're not creative and don't have a lot of ideas or need some help with planning events and planning classes, Stampin' Up! has a lot of really fabulous resources for demonstrators that make it really easy to just get started right away. So today we're going to make a card with a hey birthday chick. And since we're talking about being on my team, um, I love to 
to give my team creative challenges and I'm always giving away tons of prizes. So one of the things that I give prizes away for are my creative challenges. And right now I have challenged my team to case the catalog. Now you guys know I love, love, love <laughs> casing the catalog, <laughs> um, which means either copy and share everything or I like copy and selectively edit. So that means I see an idea and I copy it and maybe I, oh my goodness gracious, <laughs> I don't know what they're barking at. Um, make some, some changes to kind of make it my own. So today I am going to case the Hey Chick, Hey Birthday Chick um, cards on this page. <laughs> Yay, Susan. Um, so I really love this. And these are, this is an example of a step it up. So uh, a really simple card. And then they show you how to just bump it up a little bit and then really bump it up some more. So I'm going to kind of do like a mix of these two cards. And we're going to make this card today. Um, someone asked, let's see, um, how, how much are the chicks and dice? So let me go back to that really quick. So the, the Hey Birthday Chick stamp set by itself is $21 and the bundle together is $43 or the Hey Chick bundle is $44. That's the original one. Um, I don't have the item numbers and prices for the dies by themselves on here, but I can give you that information after the Facebook Live. Um, I know you get a 10% discount with the bundle. So if the stamp set, I think the stamp set is 17 and this one is 21. Um, so the dies are um, 20, high 20 or low 30s, I believe, for those sets. Um, okay, and then Tammy says, does it cost to post demos on YouTube and Facebook? Um, no, Tammy, I have a blog through Blogger and I don't pay anything for my blog. I don't pay anything to have my videos on YouTube. I don't pay for my Facebook business page. Um, so it's really easy to operate on, on social media and share your, your projects and you don't have to pay for that. Um, Janet says, how close are you to hitting the $1 million sales award? Um, so that is $1 million in career sales. I've been a demonstrator for 19 years in June. So 18 and a half years. And so far I have $750,000 in sales. So I think I'm three quarters of the way there. <laughs> and I think that it will take me, um, I just figured this out the other day, like three or four years, I think, um, for me to hit 1 million. So, um, I'm getting close. <laughs> I'm still a little ways off, but definitely getting closer. It is so exciting. Uh, Carmen's asking, oh my gosh, I am trying to bring people on camera again. I'm so sorry. Cancel. Um, Carmen says, how many trips have you earned so far? I've kind of lost count, but I, I want to say it's around 12. Um, I started earning trips in 2008 and I only missed one since then. Um, so actually the 2008 trip I earned in 2007. So 12 or 13 trips, I think, cause this trip is actually the one I just earned is for 2022. So like then the years are all kind of mixed up and blended together. But I've been all over the world with Stampin' Up. I've been to Hawaii twice. I've been to Alaska twice. I've been to Fiji. I've been to Thailand. I've been to the Mediterranean. I've been to Greece. I've been to Italy. I've been, um, we stayed in Barcelona before one of those cruises. Um, so we did a Mediterranean cruise, a Greek Isles cruise. Um, yeah, Fiji, Thailand, Alaska, Alaska, Caribbean. Uh, it, it has been amazing because honestly, with four kids, there's no way that my husband and I would have been able to afford to go on any of these trips. I mean, maybe one big trip over, over, you know, all this time, but to go on a trip every single year is such a blessing. Um, it really is so amazing. Um, EC, can I get the dies for the old chick stamp set? Yes, I will share the item number and the price. Oh, thank you, Barb. You got it right there. Um, yes, you can get chick. Um, you can get the chick dies for that stamp set without having to get the bundle. 
Um, <laughs> I, it'll be a couple years before we have a million dollar party, but you can bet it will be a giant celebration. I'm so excited. All right, let's get to our card making. We're using Hey Birthday Chick. We're channeling the cards right here. So I've pre-cut some pieces. I love this pumpkin pie. It's just so bright and cheerful. And I like having these little strips behind there. So I thought that I would do that, but I thought I would go ahead and use one of the designer papers. So I'm going to pull out, I'm thinking of using a bright and I would really love your input as to what color to put behind here. Cause I think we have some good options. Like we could go with green or daffodil delight. I think would be really pretty as well. Ooh, I like this pattern. So these, we it's the same pattern in the different colors. So you've got this one with the dots and then like the lattice and then the plaid and on the other side is like little flowers. So I like that pattern. Or gosh, we could just use different colors. We could use three different colors. What do you think about that idea? Um, maybe I like the darker blue better. Tell me what you think. Should we do, um, so this is my inspiration card. It's got three panels. I'm going to use the designer paper, um, green, yellow, or blue. If we want to be technical, granny apple, daffodil, <laughs> or Bermuda Bay. Tell me what you guys think, or maybe one of each and use all three. Um, Okay, Chris says, what is DBWS and how does it help to have it? Oh, DBWS is Demonstrator Business Web Services. That's what that stands for. And um, there is a monthly fee to have a DBWS. And this is sort of your personalized Stampin' Up! website and a personalized storefront. So it definitely helps to have a DBWS if you have customers that are going to order from you through the online store. Um, and you get your first two months for free as a demonstrator. Okay, Myrtle says green, Barb says daffodil, two votes for the green. Um, ooh, Barb says da uh, daffodil lattice. Ooh, 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 because that kind of looks like chicken wire. Oh, Beth says all three, Marco says yellow, all three, all three, one of each. I'm seeing a lot of one of each, yellow, green, one of each, all three. Okay, we're going to do all, all of them. I'm going to go with the, the lines because I think that that is going to be a little more visible. But I totally love the idea that that kind of looks like chicken wire. I just think in the smaller bit that the, the polka dot lines are going to be easier to see. So let's do this. I'm going to cut, I'm just going to cut all three at once. And I'm going to do one and a quarter strips and then cut, cut them this way. Let's do four inches. There's our pieces. So we've got pumpkin pie, which is actually in the regals, um, but it's it's a bright color. I think it goes really well. And then we're going to do, oh, that's so cute. And I even like maybe doing like a little kind of wonky or crooked. So let's stamp our, um, I'm going to, I have to leave this out because I want to show you something about um, this chick. So I'm going to stamp this in black and then we're going to color with our stamp and blends. And, um, let me turn it this way. Ooh, it's not like a goober. I don't know what that is, like a glue dot. Um, okay. So let's, let's get this inked up. Okay. And we're going to stamp that. Wonky looks cute. Yeah, see? Oh, and it's fun to say. Wonky. All right. Now we're going to... Oh, gosh. I thought I cut this. Yeah. That fits just perfectly. Um, let me share the measurements with you in case you want to make this card at home. So this is two and a half inches by um, four and three quarter inches two and a half by four and three quarters. And then these were one and a quarter by four inches. 
Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you because on the super stepped up version, do you notice there's three balloons, but the stamp only has one. <laughs> so they did some strategic, um, some very strategic inking. Let's see if we can try. Let's try this. I, I feel like we can make it work. Um, let's first, we got to clean our stamp. Um, I'm just going to clean. If it doesn't work, we'll turn it over and we'll just do one balloon. <laughs> I have faith though. Okay. Clean it off. I should use my stamp and chamois, but I forgot to get it. I forgot to get it wet. Okay. So first thing is we need to make a mask. So we're going to stamp this on a little post-it. And I'm going to cut this out with some scissors. Have you guys done this technique before with the masking? This is how we're going to make it look like there are layers of balloons. This is also going to be a really great way to bring in multiple colors because we can color each of the balloons. Um, oh, geez. Can someone please report Mammy Gold? Um, thank you. Oh, my goodness. I don't know how that happens. That happened to us one other time. I don't know how we get these little scammers. Please just report them. Um, I don't think there's anything that I can do while I'm live. Oh, hmm. <sighs> Thank you guys. Yeah, troll alerts. <laughs> okay, so um, I've got the mask. I put it over the stamped balloon. And now um, this is where we need some really strategic inking and really strategic stamping. So I'm carefully inking up only the, um, only the, um, the string and the balloon. Oh dear got a little extra there and so now I'm gonna stamp this um I'm gonna kind of have it be off to the side say a prayer for me <laughs> and oh that worked out okay so let me lift this up so you can see so see how uh the extra line went over here and so now it looks like it's behind that balloon isn't that cool so let's do that again on the other side. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys so much for reporting. Honestly, I don't know what, what it looks like to report um, because I've never seen that as a viewer um, while someone was live before. Okay, so I've got it inked again, again, just strategically the balloon. And I'm, I'm just kind of guessing because I can't see through the stamp. And that's going to go over here. Oh, again, perfect. Nailed it. So now when you remove the mask, you have just that balloon. And it looks like it's popped up, doesn't it? So that's how we get the three balloons as shown here. So in the step it up, that's sort of an advanced technique to step up your card a little bit more is to do that technique. So let's grab our markers. We are using... Um, Granny Apple Green, Daffodil Delight. Um, we're going to use some Bermuda Bay. Those are the colors here. Um, and then we're going to need some orange for the chicken. Oh, it looks like maybe some, some red or a little bit of red. Mm, it looks like, oh, that's kind of like a light brown. Let's see. a cinnamon cider for our chickadee okay we're gonna do some some coloring um let's see Lori says I probably would have put a piece of paper over the chick yes you see it I was hoping you didn't <laughs> I did get a little a bit of the string on there too and so if I had used a mask over the top of the chick that would have helped to um to cover that but I'm hoping it just kind of looks like feathers and you can't tell so much I will remember that next time 
Um, okay, so I'm gonna start with the chick and just kind of do an outline with a dark marker. I'm using cinnamon cider here. And then, um, and then I'm gonna go back through with the lighter marker and and kind of blend that blend that in and then I always like to go back with the dark marker and add some more shading <laughs> it's always so hard to color on camera I, I feel like I, I need to be quick but with Stampin' Blends it's always best to just take your time and really like enjoy the process oh I got on the head a little bit what a bummer this is the color lifter and it's it's supposed to like lighten up the color so you can see like it it's kind of lightening up that I went over the line there so this is color lifter if you don't have this one let me see if I can get the item number one four four six zero eight the color lifter and that helped quite a bit actually um so let's do the little chicky feet and the beak oh I feel like I'm not gonna do this justice oh if you're an expert color please don't cringe <laughs> I'm adding a little bit around there and then we'll do some red up there. Now the wings, I'm going to leave them white, but I'm going to go and add a little bit of um, like just kind of a little around the edges with the gray. That'll help me with that brown. just to sort of establish like the, the lines. Oh, that was supposed to be white. Oh, well, it's brown. Um, <laughs> okay, so here is my yellow color for one of the balloons, right? We're gonna do, oh no, we talked, oh. Okay, should I do a balloon yellow or orange? I'll do one green and one blue, and then which color should I do the other one? Tell me what you guys think. Thank you so much for sharing, too. It's always so fun when we have some new people join us, and we can share our stamping with everybody. And if you're not already, if you're watching for the first time, or if you're not already on the group, make sure to check out the Julie's Stamping Spot Share and Connect group, because we have... Lots of fun over there. We share inspiration. Everyone can share and post their projects. And we have like fun games on Friday and throwback Thursday. That's not looking the way I want it to at all. <laughs> oh, sometimes I'm not going to lie to you guys. <laughs> sometimes when I turn the camera off, I come back into my room later and I remake the card. <laughs> Oh, because I don't love the way it turned out while I was live. Um, let's see, dark for the party. Where's my light Bermuda? Oh, that was my light Bermuda. Um, yeah, sometimes it's just hard to um <laughs> to get it just right on camera. I'm also like at a weird angle because I'm hunched over and. <laughs> Yes, there are contests too. Um, I do a color challenge in the Share and Connect group every other week. And just recently I caught up on all those drawings. I was really, I was really far behind. So um, I caught up and I drew uh, for prizes. So everyone who won received a stamp set from me. Um, it's not always a stamp set. I always say it's a stamping prize. So sometimes it's different, but this time I had some 
um, extra host stamps. So that's that's what I gave out this past time. Okay, what did we decide? Yellow or orange for the last balloon? Um, Janice says orange, but I see a couple yellows. I got three yellows, two oranges, five, six yellows, four oranges. It looks like yellow is winning. So yellow it is. That makes sense because all of the strips, you know, are all the colors. So um, we're going to use the dark one around the edges. Oof, that is really super light. That's a little better. I've been using the Stampin' Blends more, and so I really need to take advantage of Celebration to stock up on the colors that I don't have. Celebration is a really great time to stock up on cardstock and adhesive and, um, you know, all the boring things that you put off because you want fun things like stamps and paper. <laughs> but... Um, Celebration is a perfect time to complete your ink collections and stock up on all of those, all of those boring things. Okay, there's our cute little chick. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Oh, I forgot all the bottoms of the balloons. Oops. Let's just go back and add a little color there. And then the other thing I feel like I want to do is to add just a little bit of twine to make this um this chick stand out just a wee little bit um i'm so excited to have the whisper white twine back this is part of the snail mail twine combo it comes with a pink roll and a white roll and i was so sad when they discontinued the individual white rolls because um i use white twine all the time so I'm excited that it's back so that I can use it some more. So I'm just going to add that on there. I think that's just a fun little detail that will make um, make the balloons and make it sort of pop out a little bit. So I'm going to use a glue dot to add that. And yes, Pam says she usually buys her prepaid paper pumpkin for the whole year during celebration. That is so smart. I do the same thing. Um, and then you get a discount. If you get a six or 12 month prepaid paper pumpkin, you get a discount and you get celebration. So it's like a double, double win. Let's get our adhesive out this is the new seal and I'm finally getting the hang of it <laughs> it takes a little it takes a little getting used to I struggled just a bit at first um but I feel like it's coming around okay so we did our little wonky layers so I'm gonna I'm gonna go wonky again and put them back down I feel like they could even just be like a, a little bit shorter but this is going to be good. And then I'm going to add this with Stampin' Dimensionals over the top. This is something I always add to like every order because I feel like I go through Stampin' Dimensionals so much. And one in the middle. Oh, that one didn't have one on it. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Do you love it? I do. I love it so much. Hey, birthday chick. And you know what? This, this card is what inspired me to want to get this stamp set. These chicks are just so stinking cute. And once I saw the card, I knew that I wanted to case it and make one just like it. Oh my gosh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So you can get Hey Birthday Chick right now. If you want to get the bundle with the coordinating dies, you can get that if you're a demonstrator or you can get that next month starting February 2nd. Okay, so there was our first card. Let's put these pieces aside. And I'm just going to put them on the floor. And we're... We're going to make another card, and since we're in the Case the Catalog mode, I'm going to show you another project that really inspired me in the catalog, 
and I was really excited to get this one. Now, I, I didn't get a chance to play with this bundle as I hoped to, but um, I do plan to design some projects tomorrow using the Welcoming Window Bundle. This is on page 58, but this is the card that I'm going to copy. I love the colors. I love the layout. I love the simplicity. I love the twine bow. <laughs> Let me show you page 58 and show you some more um, of these cards. If you're on my Stamp of the Month Club list, watch for an email on the next day or two, and I will reveal my projects, which have not been designed yet, but will be. <laughs> uh, so this is the stamp set that I'll be featuring, and I just love that it's a little bit different. It's kind of cool, and then it's got these amazing dies. Really, really cute samples. Let's get out the dies in person so you can see what they look like. I've pre-cut some cardstock for us. I've got the stamps ready. Okay, here's the dies, and you can see better than you can in the catalog the detail on some of these dies. So there's like this wood green detail on the shelf and the door and the window frame, and then there's some outline dies for, what is this? Um, I'm, oh, these, I think these are just panels. I don't see... Oh, no, these are for the shutters, right? So the shutters, this is for the um, the ledge, the window ledge. And then this one um, is for the window. And it's not like exactly a straight line. Actually, we're going to use this die, so I'll get it out. Um, it's not straight. It's kind of wavy. I like that. And then we're going to use the die for the flower and the die for the pot. Then you've also got these little accessory dies, and that is the hinges here on the door oh my gosh it's so awesome like I just can't wait to play because I just feel like there's so many possibilities and I love the bright colors it's going to be hard to pick colors for my card kit because I feel like there's just so many possibilities uh yes Pam thank you so much for posting that information about paper pumpkin um <laughs> Janice Oh, yes, I'm all, I love to make you guys add things to your list. <laughs> and Stephanie, too. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I think I'm going to add this one to your list as well. I know that after I show you the card I'm going to do today, you're going to want it. But I, 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 I can't wait to, to stamp with it and make some cards. I think they're going to inspire you as well. All right, let's flip back to this page so we can take a look. Um, and there's our card again. So let's see, we've got two pieces of the purple posy cardstock. So I've pre-cut that and I just kind of guessed on my, um, on my sizes because that's what you have to do sometimes in the catalog. You don't have the exact measurements. So I just started cutting it and then like I kind of eyeballed it, um, to, to see if it was about, you know, the same, um, the same shape or if I needed to go more or less. So let me measure for you so that you can, um, you can case this card at home as well. So this is, oh, I remember now, four and a quarter by two and three quarters. So this is one eighth of a piece of cardstock. And um, so for this, we're going to stamp, um, oh, you know what? I got out the little bricks to make the background and I just realized that I think that they used the longer stamp, this one, to do the background. Let's try, since I already have this, let's just try and see what that one looks like. Um, so I've got, I've got the colors. I'm going to try to use the same colors that they've used. And I guessed a little bit here. So I'm using Highland Heather, which is a darker purple because we don't have a purple posy ink pad. Um, so I'm going to use Highland Heather and stamp. Oh, that's pretty. Oh my goodness. Um, I should have a, <laughs> should have something down there. Okay. So I'm just stamping repeatedly. This stamp has, uh, this one comes out and then there's a hole there. So it's really easy to kind of line it up and get the continuous pattern. Okay, love that. 
wipe our table off. Um, that is perfect. You know, I would, the only thing I wish I'd done is when I started, I wish I'd come off the cardstock a little bit because here it comes off the cardstock. So it looks like a continuous pattern, but I think it'll be okay once we get it on here. Okay. Now let's stamp. Um, we're going to stamp the flowers. This is a really, really cool stamp because it is, um, it's a two step stamp. So we've got the, um, the leaves in green, and then we have holes for the flowers. So the leaves are in green, and then um, we're gonna do purple flowers. And they fit right inside of the holes. So in two stamps, you have that multi-layered dynamic flower and um and greenery like I just, I just think that's so cool so we've got that for the flowers and then we're going to do the flower pots i'm using um the cinnamon cider again yeah that's really pretty all right let's get lucy out she's going to help us with um the die cutting i just love this little do you guys have one yet did you get one because it's just so fun and cute and so perfect. It doesn't take up a lot of room on the desk. So this is the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. And it was just launched in January. So it's brand new. And so you can get it right now. You can get it as a customer. You can get it in your starter kits. Um, it's just full on available for everybody. So I'm going to line these up. And um, it looks like... That's going to be a tight squeeze. I might have to run them through separately. I think I got it. And then this one is for the window, but I am just die cutting that as a plain, um, as a plain piece that we're going to layer on top of. Oh, snap. Did you see that? It shifted. So I have... Okay, so there is not a magnetic platform for, um, well, for either of the die cutting machines because there were some quality um, issues and it was a Boeing and it wasn't doing what it was supposed to be. So you can hold your dies down so that they don't move with a little piece of washi tape or a post-it to hold them in place so that they don't shift. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. All right. Let's get this going back through. I'm going to line that up straight. Okay, so we've got our flowers, we've got our flower pot, and then this is the not quite rectangle piece, and I noticed, because I was trying to figure out the piece to cut for the card, that it had sort of like these wavy lines, and that's when I figured out that it was the die, so these are going to layer on there, and... Then we're going to stamp the sentiment on the green piece. Put that down. Okay, I don't want to lose these dies. Let's get them back in the case. Okay. All right, let's layer and finish up our card. So this is going to go on in the corner. I'm doing uh, equidistant here, about a half inch from the top or from the right side and the bottom. And then we're going to, let's go ahead and stamp our sentiments using Pear Pizzazz ink and Pear Pizzazz cardstock. We'll do a little banner tip 
Go right up the center and then cut from each corner to the center. Okay, let's layer this on first. Actually, it looks like they used a little bit of a darker ink, but I think this will be okay. Gonna layer this on and then let's do some Stampin' Dimensionals because you know how much I love them. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it so much. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I'm gonna tie a bow. Now in the, in the, um, in the inspiration one, I think that they dyed the twine. And you can do that with a stamp and blend. Like you can just color on it. But I think I like the white. I think I like the simplicity of the white. You know what I don't like? Oh gosh. <laughs> I want to go a little bit. Oh. <laughs> Can I go a little shorter on this? And bring that in just a little bit. Okay. It's not a Julie video until something gets torn apart. <laughs> you guys know. Okay, so this is going to go on with the glue dots. Put it on there. And then when I pull it off, I kind of squish the glue dot so that it's all behind the knot. Right in the middle. Oh my gosh, so precious. And then I feel like I want to add some more dimension here. Like it just feels too flat to put that down straight. So let's let's go ahead and do some more glue dots. There we go. Oh my gosh. So sweet so sweet oh my gosh i love it i don't use purple posy a lot and i feel like i should use it some more because um there's not a matching ink pad but i use the highland heather you know for for both of the stamps here and i feel like it goes really well with the purple posy like it is definitely darker but i don't think it needs to um i don't think it it needs to be lighter. I think that's just perfect. So I'm going to use Purple Posy some more before it retires because actually it only has a couple more months left. Purple Posy is part of the ink colors that will be retiring this spring. So if you don't have Purple Posy yet, that's the really, really light purple. Make sure that you get some Purple Posy cardstock. They do have Stampin' Blends that are Purple Posy and they're, it's part of the markers. So there's lots of Purple Posy to get. I just, I don't know why I don't use it more. But... Now I think I will. Okay, yay! Oh, I'm so glad you guys love this one too. Okay, so watch for the um, watch for the email. Watch for the pictures. I'm gonna be playing with the welcoming window stamp set some more um, in the next 24 hours. So I'll be sharing the stamp of the month club. Um, card kit which will be featuring the stamp set and more cards using the welcoming window because I feel like. It has so much potential. Like we have only just begun. <laughs> okay, let's move on to our next project. Um, for this one, I'm not going to case the catalog, um, even though I did for both of those. This one is something that I've kind of just been wanting to do, and I, I haven't sat down to do it. So I cut some cardstock so that I could share it with you. Um, as a always in the mini catalogs we have a host stamp set so the sweet sampler is the host stamp set in the mini catalog what does that mean host stamp set um, so these stamp sets are only available for hosts who have a party but anytime you order over $150 your order qualifies for host rewards or stampin rewards is what they're called in the online store 
And so you can choose the host exclusive stamp set with stamp and rewards. So if you order 150 or more or have a party with qualifying sales, you can choose this. Now the sweet sampler stamp set would normally be a $21 value, but when you purchase it with host rewards, you get a special price. So $12.50 for this set when you have um, $150 more on your order or um, like I said, if you host a party. So I have a couple parties coming up that I'm really excited about. One of them is in town, but we're doing it virtually. And one of them is all the way um, in California, which we're doing virtually. So I'm really excited about that. So no matter where you live in the United States, we can do a virtual party and we can do lots of different kinds of virtual parties. So please, if you've been thinking about hosting and you have friends who want to order, you can get host rewards, um, including the sweet sampler stamp set if you want. You can also use your host rewards towards a demonstrator starter kit. So you can host a party and then use those stamp and rewards to pay for part or all of your starter kit. Every time we have celebration, I always have a couple hosts who do that and they end up paying like $7 for their starter kit. It's so amazing. Mm, sorry, quick water. Okay, so I wanted to make some cards using the sweet sampler. Now, some of you who got the product share got the sweet sampler as a bonus prize in your package. If you remember um, when I talked about doing the product shares, I said one in every five package will get a special surprise. They'll get the sweet sampler. Um, so I, I gave away quite a few of the sweet sampler stamp sets, um, and they were just sort of, I p just put them in random packages. Actually, what I did was I did um, a, a random name drawing, and then I, I figured out whose packages they were going to go into that way. Um, I have a couple more product shares left, so if you are still interested in a product share, I think I have like two. So if you're still interested in a product share and you didn't get one already, then um, let me know, leave a comment and I will share the information with you so that you can sign up. Yay! <laughs> Beth said she got one in her package and Janet said her friend Kathy got the bonus stamp set. Um, Jill, this stamp set, Sweet Sampler, is the host set in the mini catalog. So I'm in the January through June um, 2021 mini catalog. I'm all the way in the back, page 88, Sweet Sampler. Um, so I wanted to use this stamp set. One of the things um, during the product share, uh, I allowed you to add on the Happy Thoughts stamp set at a discount. Um, and so ooh, I don't think I have any extra for those extra two product shares. But I might be able to... I'm putting in an order, so I could probably order one. If you get, if you want one of the extra product shares and want to add on the happy thoughts at the discount, I could probably still accommodate that. So um, what is the product share? Okay, good question. Let me grab one because I have them over here and I can show you. So the product share, essentially the whole idea of a product share is that you have a bunch of people that go in on an order and they order everything, all the paper, all the ribbon, all the embellishments, and then they share it. We break it up into individual components so that you can try a little bit of everything. So that's why it's called a product share because it's a product order that multiple people are sharing. So I take all the signups and then I do all the work of ordering it and breaking it up. My product share includes a six by six piece of all of the designer paper and specialty paper in the mini catalog. It also includes two of the D Dandy Garden cards and envelopes. It includes one yard of each ribbon in the mini catalog, as well as an assortment of um, nearly all of the embellishments. I did not include the twine and I did not include, um, well, I didn't include the, the gilded leafing and I did not include the... Um, the sprinkles, the ice cream sprinkles are just too, <laughs> too messy. Um, so you get a little bit of everything. I can show you the complete list, but it's essentially almost uh, a sample of almost everything in the mini catalog. It's $42 um, plus postage. 
Uh, United States only. I can't sell the product shares outside of the U.S., which is my territory. So, yes, Lori, you got one. Um, so if you did not get one and you're interested, let me know. Leave a comment. I'll share the link so that you can sign up. So the last project I want to show you is combining the Sweet Sampler stamp set and the Happy Thoughts stamp set to make some cards. And the other thing that I wanted to use, which I... I haven't yet. I, I bought this like right away and I haven't used it is the stitched with whimsy dies. So let me show you where they are in the catalog because they are often overlooked. This is the last page with product on it, page 72. And the stitched with whimsy dies are right here. Now it don't be confused because they're not available as a bundle with the dogs and they have nothing to do with the dogs. The stitched with whimsy dies are just different rectangles and a square, uh, two squares, three squares um, that have this really fun stitched border. So I'm going to show you the dies and I did pre-cut some squares rectangles, whatever, <laughs> to use. Um, so here are the dies and you can see you've got the different, um, different shapes. And I, I forgot that they did this, but when I, I actually use the second largest, um, when I cut this card, I expected the frame to like totally cut out and it doesn't, it doesn't cut anything from the paper. It just adds the stitched border. So that is something to note, but you can cut your paper down ahead of time and then you can um, add this really fun border. So I'm going to create some just really super simple cards um, using the stitched sampler images and then the happy thoughts words. And so I've cut three and um, I also love this uh, oh so ombre designer paper. So this is one um, it's one of the free gifts that you can choose during celebration. When you order $50 or more, you can choose a free gift from the brochure in January and February through February 28th. So Oso Ombre is one of the, ch one of the gifts that you can choose. Now this one is on back order. It's set to ship January 25th. So if you order it and see that it comes up on back order, it looks like we've got more coming in next week. So it won't be long, um, before it ships. In fact, depending on when you put your order in, your whole order may ship together without any delay at all. So Oso Ombre is the paper. 155225 is um, the item number to choose that. So I picked out some um, pieces. I've cut them down to um, four and a quarter by five and a half. So this is going to go on the card front and it's just going to take up the whole card. So you don't, you could, I guess you could do it on white. It doesn't need to be colored cardstock. So I'm going to do that on the background and then the white with a stitched border. And then I, I just want to do some really simple stamping. So for this first one, I'm going to do the leaves, um, from this set and um, I'm using the Granny Apple Green because that's the color here. And I'll do a sentiment in black over the top. So this is from the Happy Thoughts. This is such a great greeting set. If you're needing some greetings, this is really good because it kind of covers all the bases. Thinking of you, happy birthday. That was not straight. <laughs> uh, thinking of you, happy birthday. Thank you, congratulations. That kind of covers a lot of it, doesn't it? Um, well, I don't, I don't have an extra one cut, so I'll have to, <laughs> have to redo that one. Um, okay, so really simple. Like I said, I just wanted to do something that was quick and easy, and so I'm just using the colors from the paper. And then adding a sentiment. So the next one is going to be the flowers. And you know what's, you know, let's do a fun technique because um, <laughs> I'm having a hard time wanting to, um, I don't want my stems and leaves to be pink. I want them to be green. So um, here is a fun technique that you can do to get multiple colors on your stamp image. You can use the, um, let's see what green we want. Let's do markers. 
you can use the markers to color directly on the stamp. Now these are different from the Stampin' Blends. These are um, water-based dye ink, whereas the Stampin' Blends that we used earlier are alcohol markers. So you wanna use the, um, for this technique, you wanna use the regular Stampin' Write markers, the dye, um, the dye ink, and you can color right on the, um, right on the, the um, stamp to get different colors on the image. So I'm gonna do Rococo Rose on the flower and then I'm going to do Pear Pizzazz. I like using the brush tip for this and then this is gonna be Pear Pizzazz. So now I'm gonna have a multicolor image this is a really great way to do that when it's all one stamp and not a two step. Now the, the dye based ink does, um, it does dry really quickly. So you wanna just huff and re-moisten the ink a little bit before you stamp. And that will just sort of refresh it so you get a nice good image. Isn't that really cool? This is a fun technique. Okay, next I'm going to do the words. I'm gonna do this in black, thank you so quick and easy so we've got thinking of you we've got thank you let's do our last one for this one i'm going to do the dragonfly and i didn't mention it but the um the sweet sampler the whole idea of this stamp set is that it's a sample of all the different sweets in the catalog. So you've got a hydrangea image, you've got a dragonfly to go with the dandy garden, you've got the fine art floral sort of watercolor image, the seashell. Um, I'm not sure which sweet that goes with, but you've got like a little bit of everything. So that's sort of the idea and that's why it's named the sweet sampler because, um, gosh, I don't know what that one's supposed to be. Oh, 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 I, it's supposed to be, I know, from the, it, goes with the love you always. So um, this is the same style as the flowers, which don't have any stems. Well, it's got leaves here, but um, this is meant to go with these. So you could die cut that and put it right in there. It would fit really nicely. Now I gotta get that other stamp set. <laughs> Um, okay, so the dragonfly image in the, in the other stamp set, we don't have a dragonfly image that um, is sideways like this. It's only like the, the big one. So this is kind of fun to have an additional, an additional image to go with the, um, to go with all the sweets. So that's why it's called Sweet Sampler is because it is a sample of all the sweets. I know, Janice, it really is such a pretty stamp set. Um, okay, so now we're just gonna do some simple layering. I did see somebody ask, what size is the white cardstock? So I cut this down. Oh gosh, let me measure it again. It is three and five eighths. So it's between three and a half and three and three quarters. Three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. So it's a little bit smaller. I wanted to go as small as I could and still be able to see like the designer paper behind it. So this was three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. Okay, let's do our simple layering and get these cards put together. The other thing I love about this stamp set is it has some really great words to go inside as well. So for example, let's do the, um, let's do the blue card. And oh, where did our adhesive go? Oh, got quite a mess here. So the designer paper again is four and a quarter by five and a half. I did it to fill the entire card front no border usually I do a border and I do like four by five and a quarter so this time I just filled the whole thing so four and a quarter by five and a half and then since we're already so plain I'm gonna add some Stampin' Dimensionals to pop this layer on 
And if you want to go in the direction of the whimsy, <laughs> you could put your white cardstock on. You could do it like add a little bit of an angle and have a little whimsy. And then you can add the inside words to the inside of the card. Today is great because it's all about you, the great person you are, the great things that you do. That's like a little Dr. Seuss-ish. And, you know, if you want to stamp some more, let's just do another, another dragonfly in there. So simple, so easy and pretty. What do you guys think of that one? We love it. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this Rococo Rose. It's so pretty. I didn't think I loved it so much. And then with this Oso oh Ombre paper, I've used it so much and I really have come around and it is a favorite. This is one of the colors that is retiring as well. So this is one of the 2020 to, or no, 2019 to 2021 in colors. So these will retire in the spring. So stock up on your Rococo Rose, make sure you get your reinker, make sure you get cardstock and all of your favorites before they go away. Thank you. And then for this one, I'm going to do, um, just wanted to send some happy thoughts your way. I feel like we need to add that flower in there too. I'm going to, this time, I'm just going to do it in a solid color. So give it a quick clean with my baby wipe. I really need to get my chamois out next time. I haven't been really good about looking at questions. So if you've asked a question that I have not responded to, I will respond in the comments um, afterwards. So don't worry if I missed it. I promise I'll take a look and get back to you. Okay, so there's that card. Thank you. And then we've got that on the inside. Oh, yay. Which one do you like better? <laughs> you knew I was going to ask, right? I didn't finish up the green one because I feel like I want to restamp it. It was kind of crooked, but that that'll be the that'll be the third one when it's finished. <laughs> they would make a really great gift as a set, absolutely. So just again, this was the Happy Thought stamp set and the Sweet Sampler, such a great great pairing, and this. Just so perfect with all the different sentiments. Like, I think you're really going to love that one. And the Stitch with Whimsy dies. Oh, my gosh. Those are a must-have because I think that really elevates this card and makes it special. Even though it really is very simple, like, the stitched border makes it really fancy and fun. So, if you get nothing else, get the Stitch with Whimsy dies. So, so pretty. Oh, my goodness. Well, that is all I have for you tonight. I can tell it's the end of the evening because my throat <laughs> is screaming for some hot tea. So I am going to do a quick recap and show you all the cards that we made tonight. We had some fun. We used the new Hey Birthday Chick and some of the designer paper that you can get for free if you join as a demonstrator. We also cased the catalog again with the welcoming window card and created this one. Be sure to watch for more welcoming window cards. And then we finished up with some really clean and simple easy cards with a stitch with whimsy dies and a sweet sampler. So thank you guys so much for tuning in for Thursday Night Stamp Therapy. Thank you for all your questions. I will do a drawing. Um, tonight or tomorrow. Um, everyone that asked a question related to being a demonstrator, I'm going to put your name in a drawing and um, I'll give away a prize. So whether you're watching on YouTube or watching on Facebook, leave a comment with your question. I'll get back to you. Um, I'll also put some links in the description of the video about more information about being a demonstrator and maybe help to answer some of your questions. 
Um, so if you've been thinking about it and want to join, I'd love to have you on my team. I'll put that link in there too. For now though, I'm going to sign off and say good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being with me and stamping with me tonight. I hope to see you next Thursday at 7, 10 PM central time for Thursday night stamp therapy. In the meantime, have a great week and happy stamping.